Everyone is praying for Hamlin to wake up and get better, but several things must happen as he recovers. And yeah, we talked with the premier health cardiologist on what exactly could be happening at this point in the process. Two News reporter Kajasia Hawkins continues our coverage. Kajasia, what are the doctors looking for right now? Well, John, this situation is not something that most people walk away from. In fact, experts say most people die when they experience cardiac arrest. But a doctor we spoke to says that Damara has a better chance than many to recover. Doctors tell 2 News Damara Hamlin likely experienced commotio cordis, or the irregular pulsation of the heart that happens during cardiac arrest. Wednesday, the Buffalo Bills updated Damara's condition, saying he's showing signs of improvement. Health experts say the next step is to get him breathing on his own. It all depends how much damage has occurred in the brain and how much they have, they're dependent on the ventilator. So, so if he's breathing on his own and, and showing signs of spontaneous respiration, and his neurological recovery is there, then, you know, we generally take them off of these uh, uh, devices and, and gradually, you know, start the rehab process. Dr. Abdul Wase says there is not much doctors can do in terms of helping Damar at this point, besides waiting to see how he recovers. And while many people are wondering how this could have been prevented, it is an extremely rare occurrence. But Wase says the NFL could make changes to its equipment to reduce the chances of acute chest injuries even more. Uh, they do wear these protective uh, gear in the chest, but that only protects from musculoskeletal causes. It does, it's not designed to protect from these kind of, you know, electrical event occurring leading to cardiac arrest. So I think research needs to be done more to prevent these kind of uh, events that can happen. Dr. Wase also added that having AEDs available in highly populated areas like churches and schools is very effective in saving lives, but it all starts with making sure you know CPR. For general public, we should all learn how to perform CPR because that is essential. And the sooner you get to the patient with a cardiac arrest and performance of CPR, the higher the likelihood of survival. At six, I'll have a look at where you can go to learn CPR right here in the Miami Valley in just five minutes. Live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, 5 on 2.